Alrighty, uh, welcome to the first video I've done on American Truck Simulator, though I definitely have recorded way more than just this one, and <laughs> just never used the footage. Um, Wyoming just dropped, so I thought, hey, might as well haul some stuff to see if Wyoming actually exists, or if, uh, I just threw $11.99, I think it was, at a massive void in the world. So, I'm starting out with what I do know and what does make sense, which is my home, Western Colorado. Hey Pete, you gonna you gonna wait for me there, bud, okay? Bye. Yep, old stomping ground in Fruta. Is where I, where I spent most of my life growing up growing up, though no, not there anymore. I miss it's a beautiful town. Uh, great scenery, too bad the scenery in this game is smushed to high hell. Here is the uh Fruta exit, which Fruta, other than super compressed and the fact that everything that side is weird. Over here it's alright, there's actually a Volvo dealership, there's a uh, big old Conoco there with a lovely little restaurant called Starvin' Arvin's, get their freaking chicken fried steak, it's so good. Over there is a car dealership, which is almost certainly supposed to be Western Slovato. A small, roughly in our position, you can see Alpine Bank over there, which is pretty much our entire skyline, Alpine Bank, and then, can you actually see the museum spire from over here? Not really. Well, you can't really see the museum spire that well. It's not that tall. But yeah, and then Grand Junction gets very vague and weird over here. But yeah, Mount Garfield is weird and smushy, but it's recognizable. Realistically, you'd be way, 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 way closer to Mount Garfield than you can pretty much touch the face of it. Um, the Grand Mesa is way back there, which it's a lot bigger. It should be, like, up there. But it is really distant. It's just really big, so it's hard to notice. I think that's supposed to be White Chalk Bridge or whatever it's called not white enough. No, I think that's really white chalk. It should be over there. Um, Tibet Canyon and Garfield ends quickly. The Tibet Canyon is pretty accurate, though what irritates me is the roller dam is there, which uh, in rolling line right now I'm actually modeling a roller dam based vaguely off the roller dam in the canyon. Yeah, this canyon here is actually pretty much exactly to scale. This is not shrank at all, but the roller dam is here, which is very weird because the roller dam in actuality is up the canyon a bit. Like, this area of the uh, canyon, it, it's a bit abbreviated. Also, if you're wondering why the control, why my driving is terrible, it's because I'm playing on mouse and keyboard and I haven't played this game in months, so I'm not used to it. You came out the tunnel here, and arguably you should have put the roller dam there, but, oh hey Amtrak. Realistically, Amtrak, you'd always be seeing two P42DCs on instead of just one. The roller dam, I understand they want to put it in, but it's after that tunnel, and like it would be roughly in this area if it continued going that way. But we've yada yada that, we're now past, I think that would be Silt, getting into Glenwood Canyon. Which, yeah. Well, there's, no, I, this would be, if it's that bridge, this would be getting in towards kind of like Debec, but then that's Glenwood Canyon, it's supposed to be Glenwood Canyon, but like, it's not red enough. Like, I can tell they toned it down because they wanted it to look realistic, but like, the Glenwood Canyon is just unbelievably red. It is. It doesn't even look real how red, red Glenwood Canyon is. And then you've entered Glenwood, which Glenwood's nice and all, but it really disappoints me they didn't put the uh, cable car for the uh, caverns in. There's a little cable car line that runs up to the caverns, which the ridge that that cable car goes up is here. It goes up that ridge, but it doesn't have the. Uh, doesn't have it. Here's Glenwood. There's Amtrak. I'm guessing. Because the speed we're going, Amtrak's going to be sticking with us most of this drive, which is absolutely awesome. Yeah, I just drove through here recently. Uh, going to Denver, video on that soon. Also, if you guys didn't know, well, now you know. Um, this area of the canyon recently had pretty much like the entire cliff up there come down on top of it. Big old mudslides, and uh, yeah, I drove over after it all got cleared out, but it was in pretty rough condition. And when it did happen, there was a whole mess. Um, people had to spend the night in, the, in some of the tunnels or some cars that were trapped between the mudslides. They had to spend the night just parked in their cars on the interstate. It was a mess. And then apparently more mudslides been happening on the other side. I saw, when I was driving back, I saw Herzog trains clearing off the, basically completely clearing off the rails. Like, there was massive piles pushed off of it, which meant that the rails had to be pretty much completely shut down and had to be repaired in a couple spots. It looks pretty bad. And that's just how this canyon is. If you ever get a fire in there, you don't got the trees that are holding the ground together and all falls apart. Yeah. 
There's a cutoff for the Hanging Lake Trail. If you never get to that trail, do that trail. That's such a lovely hike. Well, I mean, you'll destroy your legs, and it's pretty high altitude, so I mean, if you're not used to breathing up here, it's gonna hurt you, but it's such a lovely trail. Hanging Lake is absolutely beautiful. So I think this is supposed to be the Dotsero cutoff. Oh yeah, yeah, there's the bridge. It's supposed to be Dotsero. Dotsero is just out the other end of the Glenwood Canyon. Uh, Dotsero is where the railroad quits following you, and it heads up. Which I would say their, their Amtrak would be next to us, but I'm pretty sure I've been driving long enough that Amtrak has despawned. Uh, it heads up that way, up the canyon, up to the uh, Moffat Tunnel, and then over here on this side, you've got like, a Y, and the track that follows you is practically completely abandoned. Oh yeah, yeah, there's that, and then you yada yada. I think it yada yada is the whole Vale. I think the entirety of Vale gets skipped, and then this is the Mintern exit. Mintern, they have a little burger place. Oh, they have a, I think it's like a Mexican restaurant that's built where the old uh, roundhouse used to be. Train and house, but next to it is a little burger place. Oh my goodness, I had an amazing bison burger there. Just love the little drive up there into Mintern. There's some houses that look straight out of Sweden. It's weird. Yep, you get out here, and then there's going to be the ski lifts on the side, and there's going to be a whole lot of me not touching the W key. <laughs> me pressing the B key in actuality, because that's my engine brake key. Okay, over here, there'd be the ski lifts and stuff. Well, there's one of them. There's one that goes up that way, too. And then you'd start seeing a lot, a lot, a lot going down the side of the mountain of, uh, on the cliff sides, you'd see, not cliff, uh, cliff. you'd see a lot of, uh, yellow tailings piles. Like, you'd look up there, and you'd see little, like, weird bumps of yellow, where they have tailings piles from gold mines, because there is a lot of gold mining. I to be the hill just before getting to Denver and you're golden. Oh boy. That drive home was, uh, ooh, I was not feeling great. Yay, post-con depression. So, I was not feeling good, but I handled it. I handled it pretty okay. I brought the speed limit here, 45. But you might think that's real ridiculous. You might think that's absurdly slow. But in real life, the speed limit here does get weirdly low, and you're just like, come on. I'm not used to city driving. I'm used to smaller areas. It was nice. It's always nice getting into Denver in areas like this, because then you start seeing the uh, light rails, and I always get excited, just because, you know, trains. Woo. Eh. Yep, I was on the other side coming back. This is pretty much the exact route, except I'm going to be turning off here. Which, funnily enough, I've only ever gone to Denver. I've never actually left out of Denver. You can tell by the uh, fact that on these bridges, I haven't gotten right. both sides of it. Which, you will have discovered the road if you drive on it in both directions, but on bridges it doesn't count, so you can kind of tell if you haven't actually gone a direction. Turn right. Because, oh, I'm going here. I can kind of see the Denver skyline. I, oh, it's at a bad angle, but there's the cash register building, which I have some strong opinions about the cash register building. Apparently it's two very well um, natural lit uh, penthouses, but in that same sense, um, it looks dumb. That's a waste of glass. It's stupid. Like, it looks like they had a normal building, and they just were like, okay, what if we just, like, cut it in Photoshop, and then just smoosh this side down, and then, you know, evoke the image of capitalism? Hooray, everyone's favorite. That's new. That's new. Oh, yeah, because Wyoming, they're all hyped about trains, even though they're unwilling to fix the fact that the trains are still European. Well, it's time to see if uh, Wyoming actually exists, or if uh, Garfield is right, or if uh, there's actually something here. Terrain's changing quickly. I haven't actually been around the Fort Collins area, so I don't actually know what it's like up here, so... Now that we've gotten out of Denver, I've completely exited where I'm familiar with, and uh, I've been... Under, well, I've been up to Oregon, but at least close to Colorado, is the farthest north uh, Wyoming, uh, Wyoming. The forest north of Urban. Uh, Wyoming, Colorado is Craig, but let's pretend that's. Oh my good. Oh my. Do not seek out that which does not exist. Do not seek out that which does not exist. Do not seek out that which does not exist. Do not seek out that which does not exist.